Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I've got warm reviews on the Scentsy Holiday Collection. So the Holiday Collection is a five bar set of bars. It's going to come in a little gift bag and it's going to be available on October 1st. So October 1st, this five bar collection is launching. All five of these scents are brand new scents that we've never seen before. So in this video, I will let you know where I warmed these and how they performed in my house. So you might decide what you might want to try because I did do cold sniffs on these in my last haul video, um, part two, I believe it was, part two of my last big haul. Um, I did cold sniffs of these. Now there was a couple that I really liked, there was a couple that I thought were all right, and then there was one that was an absolute no for me. And so I'll let you know how things changed on warm because things do always change on warm. So I'll let you know how these did. Before we jump into that, I do wanna just let you know the last calls. So we are getting towards the end of September now as I'm filming this. So as we get into the end of September, it's time to start thinking about what is leaving at the end of September. So leaving at the end of September, so that means the 30 days past September. So the, okay, on the 30th of September at 11.55 Pacific Standard Time is the last chance you have to get these items. So the Lord of the Rings collection, the Bag and Warmer and the Shire Sunrise Scentsy Bar, those are going away at the end of September. So is the Minions collection. So the Bananas Bar, um, which smells kind of like banana candy. That one is going away at the end of the month, as is the Minions Buddy, the Minions Warmer, and the Minions Scent Pack as well, and the Buddy Clip. The other thing that's leaving at the end of September is the June Scent and Warmer of the Month. So the Jam and Jubilee Scentsy Bar, which is kind of a sugared berry scent. It's really pretty. I think I am going to go ahead and club that one myself in my quarterly club. That one is leaving at the end of, at the end of September and then the warmer. So in Canada and the US, in June, we had different warmers of the month. Canada had a Canadian flag version, um, so that one will be going away, and the US had like an American flag version. Either way, the June warmer of the months are going away as well. So this is your last chance to get your hands on those. So Minions, Lord of the Rings, and June scented warmer of the month, last call for those. All right, we're gonna jump right into warm reviews here. First off, we have the dark teal one. This is Winter Twilight. This one is crisp mint basks in light notes of lemon peel and warm amber. So I would say in this one, the primary note is the green mint note and it is a green leafy mint note to my nose. It's not a candy cane mint or a peppermint. So yes, this is a kind of green mint scent. It does have a bit of amber here. The amber isn't super heavy in this one. I do think the amber came out a bit more on warm and the lemon peel, I don't know that you would I think you can smell it in here. I don't know that you would say, oh, it smells like lemon because it doesn't smell like lemon. It is a clean, crisp, minty scent, like a green, almost spa type scent. This smells like it could have very easily been part of the mental health awareness collection from the spring. Um, this one smells like it could have fit very well in with that bunch. Now, is this Christmassy? Now, this has been the kind of, I guess, criticism of this collection is that it isn't super Christmassy. Now, there's a couple bars in here that I do think are quite Christmassy. This one I do think is wintry, but I think you could also melt this any time of year as just kind of a clean, spa-like, relaxing scent. So is it Christmassy? No. Is it wintry? A little bit. Yes. So this one I did a couple different ways. I did this in my office twice, actually. So two cubes in my office once, two cubes in my office a second time. Both times this was a 24-hour type scent. So it was about an average duration. Strength-wise, it was a light medium to medium. Now I did this in my office, which is a average size bedroom and tends to hold on to wax quite well. Ben is snoring again. So this one did about an average duration and about an average strength. So I would say light medium to medium, maybe four or five out of 10. So it was all around, it was kind of an average performer. So performance around average, maybe slightly less than average in strength. Is it open layout worthy? I would say probably not for most homes. I think if you had a good sized living room, you could probably do it in there, but I don't think I would do this in a large open space with high ceilings or in any kind of open layout. I think this is a great bedroom scent, a great bathroom scent, and a nice living room scent as well. Um, if you are into the fresh type scents or the kind of spa-like scents, very clean, um, this is one I think you should try. If you really enjoyed the mental health awareness collection, I think you would love this, Winter Twilight. So. Decent scent overall. Is this one I will repurchase personally? Probably not. Do I like it? Yes. Do I love it? No. I just don't typically go for this type of scent very often, especially not in the winter. Um, for me, this would be more of a springtime melt. And I have things like mint fields, just breathe, that sort of thing that can kind of take the place of this for me. On warm, I do feel like the amber came out just a bit more. Um, 
and it was just a, it was a nice scent it was clean crisp refreshing spa like also a little bit pretty I think the amber was what was making it pretty so yeah there's winter twilight again around average performance for me the scent appeal is okay it's just not a repurchase for me so that is winter twilight the next one we have here is frosted fantasy now this is the light green wax let me pull up the notes on this one so frosted fantasy is notes of bergamot drift across snowdrop blossoms with from a cedarwood cottage so bergamot snowdrop blossoms and cedarwood so this one is the one of the bunch that is probably the least holiday specific. This is not wintry. This is not Christmassy. This is a very beautiful all year round scent. And I have like half a cube left because I was making samples and so Frosted Fantasy. I did this one in my bedroom and I did one cube in my bathroom and then three cubes in my bedroom. So two cubes in one warmer, one cube in the warmer, warmer beside my bed. So in my ensuite bathroom and my bedroom, we did four cubes total. One was in the bathroom, three in the bedroom. This one is very much what you smell is what you get. This one does not change on warm, at least in my home. It smells exactly all the way through like it did on cold. So this one did not change. If you like the scent on cold, you're gonna love it on warm too. This one is a pretty bright crisp scent. I would think there's fruit notes here. Um, yeah, I was gonna say I would smell citrus in here. Bergamot, I think is the citrus that we're smelling. It is very pretty. It's bright, it's uplifting, it's pretty. It's clean. This is lovely. It really is. Is it Christmas? In no way is this Christmas. In no way is this winter. The snowdrop blossom here is a crisp, clean, pretty, bright floral scent. It's not a cuddly cozy floral. Now, Bundle Up has a floral note as well. This one is more cuddly cozy, a bit more wintry. This one is very much what I would say is like a spring bar. To my nose on warm, this reminded me a lot of the Mother's Day collection a couple years ago, we had a bar called Sparkling Magnolia. It was a pretty, light, soft, sweet floral. Um, this reminded me a lot of Sparkling Magnolia on Warm. It was a stronger performer than St Sparkling Magnolia was. That one was quite light. Frosted Fantasy here was a bit stronger. This was a solid medium in my bedroom. I would say probably a six out of 10 in strength, and it went for about 36 hours. So better than average performer in duration and length, in uh, strength and length. Um, so better than average performer in my bedroom. Would this be open layout worthy? I think it probably would be. I think you could do this in an average sized open layout. For me though, this scent does definitely lean bedroom. It leans to be more of like a bedroom or bathroom type scent. So very pretty. Would I get this one again? I probably will get another bar of this to tuck away for spring because that is when I would warm this myself. This is a scent that I would reach for in March, April, somewhere in there, when we're kind of getting into the spring melting and maybe the Mother's Day type melting, this is what I would reach for then. The name is Frosted Fantasy. I'm not smelling frostiness. I'm not smelling anything super like green or leafy or holiday-ish. I'm not getting that here. This is a pretty crisp, clean floral with some a lot of sweetness to it. Yeah, that bergamot here is very bright. The floral is very pretty. Cedarwood, I smell no cedarwood here. On cold or warm, I don't get cedarwood at any point in this warm. So Frosted Fantasy is a repurchase for me. I do really like it. I am very confused about why it's in a holiday collection. <laughs> Next up here, we have Ginger Cookie Crunch. This one is warm notes of crystallized ginger and crushed nutmeg sweetened with vanilla bean. So crystallized ginger, nutmeg, and vanilla bean. This one was my very favorite on cold, and that stayed the case on warm. This one did not change in ranking. This is a buttery toffee scent with a kind of cookie note to it. There is a cookie here, probably like a sugar cookie. I would say a soft sugar cookie. The ginger and the nutmeg are so slight, like so, so, so slight. I would say if you don't typically like spicy scents, you're gonna be fine with uh, ginger cookie crunch. I think you do have to like those kind of buttery caramel type scents and bakery scents to enjoy this one. Um, and I'm, those ones are kind of right up my alley. I love the bakery. I love the caramel scents. I love the spicy scents too. So I love all of that. And this one is a winner for me. Now this one does lean a little bit Christmassy. I would be happily warm this around the holidays. Although I would also warm this in the summer. I would warm this any time of year, but I do see its place in a holiday collection. It does smell warm and bakery and inviting and very, very good. So 
This is Ginger Cookie Crunch. I did four cubes in my open layout along with pumpkin chai. So I did alternating warmers. So I did one warmer of Ginger Cookie Crunch, one warmer of pumpkin chai, one warmer of Ginger Cookie Crunch, one warmer of pumpkin chai. So that's what I did. I only had four cubes left after making samples. Cause I got two of these kits, but then one and a half bars were samples. So I had half a bar left. That mix was very nice. Pumpkin chai is kind of a gently spiced um, pumpkin scent where this one is sweet bakery goodness with just a hint of that spice as well. Um, it was a very good pairing and I would absolutely get Ginger Cookie Crunch again. Now performance on this one was a little less than I would have hoped. I would say this was 12 hours or less and as far as strength I would say it was a light scent. I think if I could do a full bar in my open layout I might get it to light medium but this is not a strong bar. This reminds me a lot a lot of Toffee Butter Crunch on both cold and warm. So it reminds me of Toffee Butter Crunch. This has a bit more complexity to it with those kind of very light background spice notes. Has a bit more complexity than Toffee Butter Crunch. So I actually think if I had to pick, I prefer Ginger Cookie Crunch and I think it will age reasonably well being that it's bakery and has a little bit of spice. But performance here was on the soft side. So I would say if you have a very large hard to scent space, this is not gonna be a bar for you. If you want this for bedrooms, it would be very cozy there. This is beautiful as a mixer. I will pro I will club this one. This will be a club bar for me that I definitely repurchase because I will warm a full bar of this in my open layout any time of year, very happily. And I will also mix this either in the same dish or in alternating warmers like I did this time with other bakery scents or other pumpkin scents or other holiday scents. I think this would pair very nicely with your tree scents to make like a, a bakery holiday tree type scent. I think that would be very nice with like very snowy spruce or something like that. Um, or the new Christmas tree brick that's coming out. I haven't smelled that just yet. Mine should be arriving here soon. Um, but yeah, Ginger Cookie Crunch, I really liked it. Strength wise, again, I would say light performance and shorter than average duration. And is it Christmassy? I get it. I get why it's in a Christmas collection. That does make sense to me. It does lean a little bit holiday specific. So that one I do think is Christmassy enough to warrant being in a holiday collection. Next up here, we have Bundle Up. This one is sandalwood blanketed in bright mandarin on soft pillows of vanilla orchid. So sandalwood, mandarin, and vanilla orchid in Bundle Up. This one, I am gonna stick my nose in as little as possible because the last time I smelled this one, it was not good and warming this one also I needed to be really careful with. This one is a migraine trigger scent for me. It's not going to be for most people. In fact, I think most people are going to enjoy this, but for me, I got to keep my nose out of this as much as I can. Um, for me on cold, this was my least favorite simply because it's a migraine trigger. Now this one is a cozy, cuddly, floral type scent. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So what I did with this one is I did one cube in my laundry room one day. I did one cube in my laundry room another day, and then I did one cube in each of our bathrooms another day. So I did four cubes total with this bar. This reminds me of a white floral version of Cozy Cardigan. The other thing this reminds me of, and it's much prettier than the one I'm about to say, it reminds me a lot of a very old bar called Cashmere. There's a bar called Cashmere that we had a very long time ago and bring back my bar. It is a traditional heady floral very what some people would call mature or older lady scent it's cashmere is one of those cashmere is strong aggressive heady florals this one is a much softer more subdued pretty sweetened complex kind of finessed and smoothed version of that they are not sisters they are like grandmother and granddaughter maybe is what i would say this one, oh gosh, I'm having a hard time with this one. This one, it is pretty. It, it's not that I don't like the scent, it's that it hurts my head. So with this one, what I would say is I'm getting mostly the vanilla orchid. The vanilla here does kind of cream it and soften it. It makes it feel cuddly, cozy, and smooth and round. The orchid, I would say, is the heady white floral I'm smelling. To my nose, it reads more like, I don't even know what, tiare, plumeria, something along that line. I'm not really smelling orchid, but I mean, you never know. Mandarin, I don't smell in here on cold or warm. I don't get the mandarin. Sandalwood, yes, I do smell sandalwood here. And again, it's adding a nice grounding base note of cuddliness. This one in my laundry room, I would say was a light medium scent. And I would say less than 24 hours in duration as well. So overall, a slightly lighter performer in strength and a shorter duration bar as well. So performance on this was a bit less than average all around. 
And for me, that was okay. But if you were wanting this for a large space, I would say probably not large space ap appropriate. I would say definitely keep this one to bedrooms or bathrooms, laundry rooms, that sort of thing. And if you do this in a bedroom, I would suggest doubling your wax. I think I haven't done that myself, but typically with this type of scent, if you double your wax, it does tend to go a longer way. It gives you a stronger scent throw and it tends to last longer. Now, again, I haven't tried that with this bar because I can't warm this in a bedroom, just myself. But if you were going to, I think it would make a beautiful bedroom scent if you enjoy the scent and I would just double your wax. So that is bundle up. As far as is it Christmassy, which is the question of the day, I would not say this is Christmassy. I would say this is a little bit wintry. I could see this being a fall winter catalog bar in that you could warm this any of the cold months in like a bedroom space. So yeah, that is bundle up and I gotta get my nose out of here. So bundle up, there we go. The final one we have here is Holiday Market. This one is vibrant pink grapefruit and pomegranate juice bustle between festive allspice stalls. So pink grapefruit, pomegranate juice, and allspice. Now this one starts off with a boom. This one goes pretty hard at first. So I had two cubes of this in my office is what I did with this one. So yeah, this one is quite strong. This is by far the strongest of the bunch. And is it Christmassy? This one is hardcore Christmassy. I would not warm this any time of year except Christmas time. This is a Christmas bar. So Holiday Market is an absolute unequivocal holiday type scent. Makes perfect sense in this collection. So pomegranate juice and spice are what I get here mostly. The grapefruit is adding a little bit of a like astringency or a bit of a sharpness to this. Um, but it is tempered by that pomegranate juice. I would say I'm getting way more pomegranate than I am grapefruit. But there is a sharpness here and I think it is the grapefruit and the way the spice is mixing. It's definitely allspice. It's exactly what it says. Allspice, pomegranate juice, and a bit of grapefruit. It is really nice though. This is very holiday. If you enjoyed mulled cider and spice, this reminds me a lot of that bar from a few years ago. What else does this remind me of? Someone asked me if this was like jeweled pomegranate. Um, like a little bit. I feel like the pomegranate note is similar because jeweled pomegranate was a deep, rich, juicy pomegranate as well and had a hint of spice. This has much more spice, I would say, and is overall a bit sharper and higher pitched and brighter because of that grapefruit note, which is a quite high note. That pomegranate is lower, the spice is lower, but that grapefruit is a bit higher than in jeweled pomegranate, which didn't have grapefruit. This is really nice. As far as performance, I would say strength is probably like a seven out of 10. I would say it's better than average. And longevity, I would say about 24 hours is what it did in my office. And that's with just the two cubes. So in this one, in this one in my home did quite well. Now, is this open layout worthy? I think of all of these five bars, this would be the most open layout worthy. I wouldn't hesitate to warm a full bar of this in my open layout. I think it would do great. So holiday market, I think is the open layout worthy one of the bunch. And then I also think you could do Frosted Fantasy in large spaces if you wanted to. I think this one scent leans more bedroomy. This one scent leans definitely like an open layout type scent. So there is the holiday collection as a whole. Now, the big question, is it Christmassy? Um, like I said, two of these bars are, I would say distinctly Christmassy. The rest, here, the two bars that are Christmassy are Holiday Market, Hardcore Christmas. Ginger Cookie Crunch, quite Christmassy, but I would warm this year round. These two I think are the most Christmassy. Ones that I think are distinctly wintry. These two are kind of wintry, but again, I think you could warm them most of the year. And then Frosted Fantasy is straight up a year round bar. This reminds me a lot of Luna as well, which is a year round bar. Frosted Fantasy is just not even season specific. It is absolutely year round appropriate. Very pretty bedroom scent. So one thing I've noticed with Scentsy is they like to give these collections with a little bit of something for everyone. So in a lot of these holiday collections, because people are going to be tending to gift these, they tend to try to kind of cover a lot of bases with one collection. So in this collection, we have our bakery bar. It is a very well done bakery bar. That's a winner. We have our kind of spicy classic Christmas bar. We have holiday market, your classic spicy Christmas bar. This one is again a winner. Then we have our cuddly cozy kind of floral one, bundle up. This one's not gonna be for everyone, especially if you don't like floral, um, but it is kind of a pretty scent. I get why it's in here. Although I would think this is more of a fall winter catalog type scent to my nose than a Christmas bar. 
Winter Twilight, this one again is kind of a clean, crisp, wintry scent, but it is also very just kind of generally spa-like. So I don't see it in a holiday collection. It's a very pretty scent. It isn't Christmas though. Frosted Fantasy, beautiful. And again, to my nose, this should be in the catalog. This should be a kind of catalog year-round available type scent rather than a holiday scent. That being said, I do think this would make a very good giftable collection, especially to someone who doesn't warm a ton of wax, because if you don't warm an entire bar of wax at a time or something like us wax fanatics tend to, this might be a great collection because you have a bakery bar, a Christmas bar, you have a couple that you can warm as the season progresses. So you can warm bundle up from December when you get it as a Christmas gift through March. That would be a good one. You could warm winter twilight beautifully in the spring and summer months even. So this one, again, you could kind of carry on throughout the year if you happen to have this as a gift. And this one, again, you could warm that year round. So again, if you receive this as a Christmas gift and you're someone who only melts one cube of wax or two cubes of wax once a week or twice, once every couple of weeks, this would be a nice collection to get your hands on because there's going to be something that you can warm for months and months and months in the future. And I noticed they did something similar with the Harvest collection this year. That again, the collections tend to be very giftable. So as a Thanksgiving hostess gift or something like that, they gave us Sparkling Spiced Citrus, which is a beautiful fall winter transition. Sparkling Spiced Citrus from the Harvest Collection will melt beautifully through the holidays. That is a beautiful holiday bar, spiced orange goodness. And then we had Peaks and Pines, which is a very strong, like kind of citrusy pine tree scent. And we didn't have a pine tree scent in this collection, but Peaks and Pines from the Harvest Collection would be a beautiful addition. So if you were going to gift someone both of those collections, I think they would be set for the holidays. So that is the holiday bar in a nutshell. I would love to know your thoughts in the comments below. If you've smelled these, if you've warmed them, uh, let us know in the, in the comments below what you thought of these bars. So again, if I had to rank them, because I ranked them on cold and I'm gonna rank them again on warm. So I don't think my rankings have actually changed this time. My very first favorite is Ginger Cookie Crunch, which was the same on warm. My second favorite is Holiday Market. I think this actually might've gone up. I think it might've been my third, maybe it was my third, I can't remember what it was. But this is my second favorite now, Holiday Market. My third favorite is Frosted Fantasy. I think this is a gorgeous year-round bedroom type scent. Winter Twilight, pretty kind of spa-like. If you like those kind of crisp spa-like scents, this is gonna be a winner for you. And Bundle Up is just not for me. So that is the holiday bar ranking for me. And again, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below if you have smelled these bars or if you're planning to get these bars, I'd love to hear which ones you're getting. So these bars again, October 1st is when they're available. You can get them either in the five bar bundle with the little bag, you can put them in your regular six bar bundle and save, or you can buy them individually however you want or add them to club. So every different way of getting bars you can do with this collection. Hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.